Welcome to Core Collective and our online network sessions. I'm Kelsey and Sophia. And we're gonna be taking you guys through some network sessions you can do at home. Let's get started. Hey guys, Kelsey and Sophia here. We're gonna be taking you through another mat exercise uh, class today. We'll be starting off with an exercise called roll down. Set ourselves off with our feet around about sit bone distance apart, making sure your heels and your middle toes are in line, nice, even, parallel footing. Set the shoulder blades down the back, start to lift up from the breastbone and really feel that energy down through your heels, down through your feet before you start. Taking a deep breath in, filling through the belly. As you breathe out, you're going to drop your chin to your chest. Start to peel forward through the shoulders. Starting to allow the ribs to peel up then over your hip bones as you roll your way down, light bend into the knees, finding your forward fold point. From the bottom point, just soften through the shoulders, release out the neck, the head, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to roll the tailbone under, start to scoop up from your belly button and really work to push your feet into the floor as you slowly roll your way back up. Breathing in at the top, just get those shoulders a little bit roll up. As you breathe out, chin's going to fall again to chest. You're going to start to peel the shoulder blades forward, peel the rib cage up and over your hip bones. Light bend into the knees as you roll yourself all the way down. Letting the hands, the head just hang off the rib cage here. Deep breath in at the bottom, fill the back of the ribs. As you breathe out, push down through the feet, tuck the tailbone, scoop up from your belly button and restack that spine. One by bone. One more here. We're going to take a big breath in this time. Lift the hands up and over here. Palms facing forward. As you breathe out, you're going to round like you're diving over a big beach ball. Feeling the rib cage up and over, rounding your way down. Two loose fingertips touch the floor, so a little bend might be needed into the knees. From here, we're going to walk those hands out. One, two, three, four. Slide your weight forward over your heel of your hands and find your plank position. Now you're going to be a little forward than usual, so I want you to point off those toes, really allow your spine to stretch out and scoop up through the belly. From here, we're going to shift our weight backwards, breathe out, lift the hips. Starting to find your downward dog pose, open your chest back towards your heels, keeping them nice and lifted to start with, and then slowly lowering those heels down to a position where you can find that stretch out through the back of the hamstrings, lifting up the back of the tailbone. Big breath in as we shift our weight back forward. As you breathe out, start to scoop up the abs and find your full plank position. Pointing off those toes, weight forward in the hands. Breathing out, lift, slide it back. Lift up the hips. Excellent, start to lower those heels back down once you find that nice long line position through your chest, through your spine. Moving through a few more like this. We're gonna breathe in, change. Breathe out, slide into that plank. I'll open out the chest. Breathe in, start to lift the hips. Breathe out, scoop up the belly, slide the hip bones back. Excellent, breathe in, lift the heels. Breathe out, bring those shoulders forward, open your chest over your hands. Breathe in to start to change. Breathe out to glide it back. Beautiful, two more like this. Really working to feel that length through the spine, that openness and engagement through the armpits as you come to plank. Pushing through the palms, Starting to really spread out those fingers to get that chest a little deeper each time. Excellent, starting to feel that little bit of heat through the abdominals, warming up through those shoulders. Final one, sinking the heels back to the floor, hold it steady in your downward dog position. Open out those shoulders, then start to bend into one knee, right knee first. Glide it through the other side, dropping that heel, bending the left knee. Just working that hamstring stretch a little further. If you can get that heel a little deeper each time. Working with your breath. Big breath in. Big breath out, chin. Big breath in. Big breath out. Final one each side here. And then we're going to lift both heels all the way up. Hold it steady. Open your chest a little further, coming forward to our plank. Final hold for this warm up. Sliding the shoulders back over the wrists. Holding steady here. Can you scoop your belly up? Squeeze your bum cheeks a little to feel those abs tighten. Hold for five, four, three. Focus on that breath now. Two, and on one, dropping the knees down. Taking them nice and wide, feet together, and sinking your bum back to your child's pose. Opening out through the chest. A few big breaths here. Okay. 
All right, guys, so we're gonna be sitting ourselves up now in our four point kneeling position, which means your hands are shoulder distance apart. Really spread out through your fingers and really feel those thumbs pressing down into the mat as well. Then our knees are gonna be set under our hip bones. We want them to be about that hip bone distance apart. You can start to push down like you're pushing the floor away from you and feel your spine elongate, crown of head, tailbone reaching away from each other. Taking a big breath in, start to stabilize it from your deep belly muscles. And from here, you're going to breathe out, stretch your right leg out long. It's not about going high here, it's about really focusing on that hip bone balance. As you breathe in, your knee's gonna come back down towards the floor. It's gonna lightly touch down. We're gonna use that right leg once more. Breathe out, stretch that right leg back. Keep that balance through the hips. Breathe in, glide it in. Breathing out, stretch it back, scoop up the belly. Breathing in to glide it back down. Just a couple more like this. Really focusing on keeping those hips stable. Finding that full leg extension each time we breathe out and stretch out. Awesome. Working through for two more. Breathing in to come back down. Breathing out to stretch it out. Using that knee as a point to notice if we're coming down to the right position if our hips are even. Final one, stretch it out and hold it there. Beautiful. From here, that might be feeling like enough for you, but if you want to add on a little more, we're going to breathe in. Glide that knee down, this time adding on your left arm. Breathe out, stretch the right leg out, stretch your left arm out as well. Breathe in, both come back down, they glide down, they touch, but we don't rest, we breathe out, we stretch out, scoop up the ribs. Breathe in to pull back down. Really focusing on that stability through the belly, through the spine. Working through for two more. Breathe out to stretch, extend, really reach through those fingertips. Final one. Breathe out, stretch, extend, and hold. Can you see if your weight is even between your right hand and your left knee? Then scoop the ribs up a little bit tighter, stretch a little longer. Final little challenge here. If you need, you can always bring that hand back down. Little squeezes into your right butt cheek to find a little bit of lift. Little pops. Breathe out, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, we have that 10, 9, 8, 7, lift the ribs, 6, shoulders down, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, glide both hand and knee back down, take a moment, stretch it out, loosen up the body, loosen up the shoulders, the wrists, you can always come onto those knuckles if you need to as well for this one. Taking a deep breath in, we're going to reset, shoulders over wrists. Knees underneath hip bones, deep breath in. Breathe out, stretch your left leg out long. Breathe in, glide it down. It scrapes down to the mat, but we breathe out, we stretch it back out. Really focus on that breath here. Use that exhale to feel your belly button pull up and away from your pad line. And each time you're stretching out, think about lengthening through crown and head, out through toes. So we're bringing full length down the spine. Final two. Breathing out, stretch. Breathing in, control it back. Check in with those hip bones each time. Final one, breathe in, glide it down. Breathe out, stretch it back. Hold it here. Again, we've got that option of that hand adding on. Breathe in, glide that left knee down. We can add on that right arm. Breathe out, slowly stretch it out. Breathe in, glide them both down. Keep that weight even between knee and hand. Breathe out, stretch out. Working through for three more like this. Focusing on lifting up from the ribs. Focusing on keeping those hips from wanting to lift, particularly that left rib now, left hip. Final one here. Breathe out, stretch it out, hold. Can you push the floor away from you a little more? Lift that rib cage, pull up through the belly. Flatten and stretch out that spine. Little pulses through that back left glute. All right. Little squeezes through the butt cheek to find that lift. Really stabilize those hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, gliding hand and knee back down. We're going to take that child's pose one more time. Knees nice and wide. Sink your bum back towards your heels. Really allow your chest to stretch out and take some big breaths into the back side of those rib cages. So from here, you can keep your hands on the floor. 
but start to feel your bum sink back to your heels. Pull your ribs up off your thigh bones. We're coming into shell now. So we're going to see the difference between our shell pose, sliding our hands back towards us slightly, really feeling that rib cage round towards the ceiling as you scoop your belly up a little further. Deep breath in here, and as you breathe out, we're going to slowly restack the spine. Keep the bum back to the heels, peeling up, bone by bone. to a seated position. We want to be nice and high on our bottom bones, making sure the feet are a nice even distance apart, about a fist distance between heels and big toes. This distance between the knees, we're going to try and maintain that throughout as well. Working a little further into our abs, hands out in front of you, palms facing towards each other, set those shoulders down your back. Just see if you can lift up a little taller through your breastbone, feeling that crown of head reach a little higher as well. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to start to find that deep C curve. So rolling through the tailbone. Start to curl the tailbone under and scoop down through the belly. When you feel those abs kick in, but your feet can stay down, you take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, we're going to slide the ribs down towards the hips. Round back up and then lift back to that tall point of the sit bones. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tuck the tailbone. Really work to pull the belly button back into the spine. Breathe in as you come to that point of shake and breathe out as you roll it back up. Working through a few more like this. Now this might be where you get to with your roll downs today. Sophia's going to be continuing with this movement. So if this is feeling like you're already getting those abs firing a lot, you're going to stick with Sophia. If you want to take this a little further, you're going to join me now. We're going to stretch out the legs nice and long onto the mat. Excellent. You're going to lift once again, really tall up into those sit bones. Really feeling those spinal extensors pull you up. Big breath in to start. We're going to be rolling all the way down now. Breathe out, tuck through the tailbone. Scoop through the belly and really work to flatten your abs, starting to round the chin to the chest as we peel down, keeping that reach through the fingertips, bringing hands up and overhead, big breath in. Breathe out, hands come to ceiling, chin comes to chest, start to peel your way up. Curling through the spine, reaching forward towards the toes, breathing in as we restack the spine. Breathe out, tuck the tailbone under, really work to control every portion of this movement. As you breathe in, your hands are coming up and over here. As you breathe out, your chin comes to chest, your hands come to ceiling. Peeling back up, scooping through the belly, reaching forward towards the toes, breathing in to lift up. Just one more like this. Breathe out, use that control. See if you can tighten your belly button any further to the back of your spine. Breathing in, we come down. Breathing out, fingertips to ceiling, chin to chest, peeling all back up, lifting up through breastbone. All right, now we're going to all roll down together. Knees out long. Fingertips forward, set the shoulders down your back. Take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're going to try and control this all the way down. Now, if you need, you can bend at the knees. You can hold on to the backs of the thighs to give you a little more support on that roll down. And at that bottom point, you're going to rest the head down, hands down by your sides. All right, from here, I'm going to pull the feet in a little closer. Starting into our Pilates 100 today, guys. A few different options for this exercise. Feet can stay grounded to start with, and then we're going to be working through the progressions as you need to. We're going to imprint our spine, meaning our lower back is touching down. We're feeling that rib to hip connection pull in. Hands hover an inch or two off the mat. Deep breath in to start as you breathe out. You're going to round your chin to your chest, find that abdominal curl, and hold it here. Lower back is touching down. You start to find a little pump through the hands. All right, just those arms are moving. We don't want to see the body moving. We want to keep it nice and stable through that core. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, two, three, four, five. Pilates hundreds, knees we're working through. We're 10 rounds of breath here, and we're already three rounds through. So if you want to take that progression from here, you're going to float one foot to take the top position. Followed by the other, continue to scoop down through the belly. See if you can round up a little higher. Beautiful, holding nice and steady here. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. I think we're around about six breaths in. Not sure. Around about six or seven. All right. If you want to take a little more increase from here, you can extend both legs to ceiling. Really point through those toes. Pull down through your belly. Continuing to breathe through for our final breath. See if you can hinge those legs away from you a little. Nice. Can you round up any higher? Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold your hands steady. Can you round a little higher? Ooh, five, four. Pull down the belly. Three. Two, and hug those knees in on one. Woo. All right, 
I give that neck a little massage out, a little man. Release out the shoulders. Release out the full huge. All right guys, heading through with our bridging series now. So we're gonna start with the hands down by the sides. Shoulders nice and anchored. Feel the backs of your triceps slightly pressing down to the mat. Palms nice and spread. You're gonna take our left heel to the far left of the mat. Right heel to the far right. And you're gonna turn your toes and knees out so that you're at 10 and two o'clock. Knees are gonna be turning out over those middle toes. Working through that bridging series, you're gonna take a deep breath in to start. And as you breathe out, press the lower back down, imprinting spine. Start to tuck your tailbone under and really start to wrap the bum cheeks together. As you start to roll all the way into your bridge, you're breathing out, stretching those knees out over the middle toes. Just hold at the top points, check hip bones, ribs, cubic bone, all in a nice flat line, big breath in. Breathe out, you're gonna roll it down through the chest, through the ribs, peeling down bone by bone. Breathe in as you come to the bottom. Breathe out, tuck the tailbone, scoop through the belly, really tighten that rib to hip connection as you roll up, lift the pubic bone, breathe in. Breathe out, roll it back down. Nice and evenly through that side. Final one here, breathe out, tuck your tailbone under, scoop through the belly, stretch those knees wide and hold it at that top point. Have a quick little check in with your setup. So ribs and hips are in line, we wanna feel like that pubic bone is higher than the hip bones. Once you've got that position, lengthen the throat, bring your gaze back to the ceiling. Breathe in, keep a nice flat back position now. You're gonna lower your hips to halfway. Breathe out, lift the hips all the way up. Squeeze into the bum cheeks at the top. Breathe into lower half. Breathe out to lift. We wanna make sure those rib cages are traveling with our pelvis here. Working through for three. And two. Final one, you're gonna breathe out, lift and squeeze. Hold it here, reset those ribs down, open out the collarbones and the throat. Backs of triceps still active here. You can add on a little bit of calves to get into this one. Deep breath in to prepare. As you breathe out, you're gonna lift your heels. Excellent, make sure those knees are still turned out over your middle toes. Breathe in, lower the heels. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, lower. Now you're gonna be feeling this is the sides of your glutes. Working through those stabilizers, those outer rotators, as well as through those glute max muscles at the back. Whew. Final three, breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. And two, keeping that connection in the front. Final one, lift it up, hold it up here. We've got those same pulses to challenge it out one more time. Breathe in, lower halfway, breathe out, lift it up. Just four more, breathe in, lower half, breathe out, lift. Breathe in, half. Breathe out, lift. Ooh, shaking now, final two. And final one, breathe out, lift it up, hold it up there. Can you lift your heels any higher? Can you turn the knees out further? Open out that chest, big breath in. Keep your heels lifted. Slowly sink through the chest. Sink through the ribs. Curl down, bone by bone and lower the pelvis all the way down. All right, we're gonna walk our heels in now, walking them in till we get them to sit bone distance. Final little challenge round for our bridging today. Anchor down the backs of those triceps one more time, although if you do want more of a challenge, you can lift those hands to the ceiling for this round. Deep breath in to begin. As you breathe out, you're gonna tuck the tailbone under, working through that nice articulated bridging to start with. Stretching the knees out long, finding that nice even top point. Front side of the body, shorter than the back side. Big breath in at the top, breathe out, roll it down. Sink the ribs, scoop the belly, really tuck your tailbone to get that length back through the spine. Breathe in at the bottom, breathe out, roll it up. See if you can feel a little pull of your heels towards your bum so you're lengthening out a little further. Breathe out, start to peel it down. Keep that little action between your heels and bum. Final one, breathe in once you get to the bottom. Breathe out, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly and rolling all the way up here, holding at this top point. You need those inner thighs involved. So making sure that that pelvis is nice and even, hip bones at the same height, backs of arms are pressing down if you're using them. You're gonna breathe out, pull the knees all the way together. Breathe in, release them just to that sit bone distance. Breathe out, pull the knees together. Breathe in, release back. Making sure you're using those inner thighs to pull the knees in each time. We're continuing for four more here. 
breathe out, pull the knees together, glutes and inner thighs, nice, final three, and two, final one, breathe in, release out, breathe out, pull the knees all the way together and hold it here, can you keep that tuck of tailbone now, really tighten that rib to hip connection, lift your fingertips to the ceiling if you haven't already, set those shoulders nice and anchored, Little pulses, little squeezes into the bums, lift a little higher. Keep those knees glued. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift all the way up. Open your knees to parallel. Roll the spine back down. Nice and easy. Bone by bone. Ooh, all right, and those glutes are going to take up. Hands are going to come out to a T position. Palms face them down. We're going to take a little stretch out for our back now. So you're going to cross your right leg over your left leg. Closing the gap between your knees like you sat at lunch. You're going to shuffle your hips and inch the right hand side of your mat. And as you breathe out, drop your knees to the left. Bring your gaze to the right. And allow that spine to twist out. Letting your breath start to soften through the ribs. Letting that top leg that you're getting down that knee a little further. Holding for two rounds of breath here. Working to slow the breath back down. Working to sink through those ribs and those shoulders. On your next breath in, lifting the knees up through centre. Uncrossing those legs, bring your hips to centre. Left leg over right leg. Hips an inch to the left of your mat. Breathe out, drop those knees to the right. Have a little look out over your left shoulder. And then work through that breath again. You're trying to sink your opposite side of ribs. So here, with my knees off to the right, I'm trying to sink my right side of my rib cage, my left side of my shoulders. Final round of breath. Next inhale, lift your knees up for your center. Hug them in towards you. Well done, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you guys in class soon.